HQ is presented by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Jacqueline D'Agostino and Chris Hassel with you, and it is going to be a cold night in yes. Green Bay for Thursday night football. <laughs> the Packers coming off that win last week, but despite that win, Sportsline still does not like their playoff chances, giving them just an 11% chance to make the postseason. A lot is based on their schedule and their tough schedule beginning tonight with the Titans. Yep, so they also have the Eagles, Dolphins, and Vikings to get to after the Titans. Not the easiest schedule. You mentioned the win, the OT win against the Cowboys. If you are a Cowboys fan, shout out Brendan Baylor. That was probably really hard to watch. Um, but, yeah, the Packers coming off that win. And the Titans uh, win their, with their Week 10 win over the Broncos, the fifth straight win with Tannehill starting. Right. So they're going to be looking to continue that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Green Bay and Tennessee <laughs> taking a look at uh, some of the betting trends for tonight's matchup. What are we seeing there, Jacqueline? Yeah, so we have the Packers favored by minus three. And according to our partners over at Caesars, 72% uh, of the money, Chris, being wagered on this game is on Green Bay. Okay. All right. Uh, kickoff there is for 8.15 p.m. Eastern. And we do want to bring in Mike McClure from Sportsline and the Early Edge podcast to hopefully make you some money for Titans Packers on Thursday night football. Mike, I love a good prop. Word on the street is that you love a good prop as well. So give us your main Packers player prop, say that three times fast, <laughs> to focus on for this evening. Uh, I'm going to focus on wide receiver Alan Lazard. He took a little bit of a backseat last week to Christian Watson, who had a fantastic game. However, he still managed 45 yards on just three catches in that game. I'm expecting a way more even distribution in the passing game. And additionally, I'm expecting more throwing volume here. The Titans are one of the better run defenses in the National Football League. I expect the Packers to have to throw the football a lot more. This is a very friendly number. This number would routinely be 58 and a half, 59 and a half on Lazard. We're going to take advantage of the discount and all the targets going to Watson last week. Let's go over on Alan Lazard. All right, Lazard in eight games has 33 catches for 472 yards this season. All right, Mike, now talking about a Titans player prop to focus on for Thursday Night Football. And, Mike, you like Ryan Tannehill for this one. I like Ryan Tannehill, and we're going to go with his rushing yards here, over seven and a half rushing yards. This is a player who routinely have numbers in the high teens, low 20s. That's what I think we see here tonight. We're going to see a ton of emphasis on stacking the box to stop Derrick Henry. We're going to see a bootleg or two from Ryan Tannehill, and then I expect them in a neutral or trailing game script most of the way in the second half. He's going to have to pick up a first down with his legs in this game. I'm expecting the Packers to win. I'm not expecting three kneel downs at the end to remove three rushing yards. Let's go over seven and a half for Ryan Tannehill. All right, and Derrick Henry, of course, will be a big focal point for this Tennessee offense. Now, Derrick Henry, under 98 and a half rushing yards. Mike, which way are you leaning on that one? Yeah, I'm going to lean towards the under initially with an emphasis on potentially live betting it based on the game script here, but I'm expecting a competitive game where the Packers are going to stack the box, make Ryan Tannehill beat them. You're going to see the Titans more willing to throw the football with Ryan Tannehill under center. We saw a few games where Henry was having 25 to 30 carries. Last week, the number under 20. I think it's going to be 18 to 20 carries for Derrick Henry in this game, not 30 or more in this spot. So with the box stacked up, I think this number should be closer to 89. Let's go under to start the game. Now, Mike, at the top of the show, we talked about the cold weather that is expected there in Green Bay. Do you expect this number to go up or down as we get closer and closer to kickoff? Uh, I think the number on the game will trend towards the under. I, I think Derrick Henry's number itself probably stays where it's at, potentially trends up. Uh, but you're right, it is going to be very cold, 25 degrees around kickoff, a little wind. One of the bigger home field advantages in the NFL for the Packers in general. And then quickly, I wanted to note Aaron Rodgers. We're talking about temperatures. He's played 38 games where the temperature has been freezing or below. He's won 28 of those straight up. Yeah, and it's forecasted specifically 25 degrees, 15 mile per hour winds at kickoff there. Um, we do have the Packers favorite at minus three. So with that in mind, what is your overall play for that? And how much was the weather impacting your overall decision there, Mike? Yeah, so my favorite play on the game is Packers minus three. I played this one on Tuesday. My simulations make it four and a half. Uh, look, I, I think this sets up perfectly for them. It's not only the weather impact, but additionally, it's a short week for the Titans. Difficult road environment. The home field advantage is absolutely critical here. 
Uh, I like Rodgers in cold games. I like that he had some chemistry with Watson last week. I like the absences on the defensive side of the ball for the Titans as well. Bud Dupree, Amani Hooker, potentially Jeffrey Simmons. We'll see. I think he's ultimately going to give it a go. But love the Packers here. Minus three. I would play it all the way to minus four. All right, Mike, I know you're talking about live betting and Derrick Henry a little bit earlier, but give us some more tips for live betting for the game tonight. Yeah, so I want to lean under on Derrick Henry initially. It doesn't mean you have to play it under. You can simply hold off and wait and see what kind of game script we're looking at. I think we're going to know within the first two to three possessions of this game what things are looking like on the Tennessee side, how efficient Green Bay is going to be uh, in general moving the football here. But what I want to caution on is these teams are two of the slowest teams in the NFL. Green Bay really likes to eat clock and try to manage that time of possession. That takes away potential opportunities for Henry. This number, I think, is a touch too high. If he doesn't have a big run in the first two series of this game, we're going to see this number down in the low 80s, high 70s. That's the price point where I'd look to become interested again that I think is still achievable in most of the game scripts that I would project. All right. And that is Mike McClure giving us his best bets for Thursday night football. Packers and Titans going at it tonight at 8.15 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to take some of Mike's advice, make sure you check out Sportsline's live betting hour on CBS Sports HQ. That starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. And you can join the Sportsline crew there and stream alongside Titans Packers on Thursday night football. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.